Good morning, you guys. What's up? Welcome back to another unedited, unfiltered morning routine. I know you guys love these. I love them. Heck, they're so easy to edit. I literally just put them all together. So I'm going to be vlogging my morning routine-ish, just kind of what I'm doing this morning. It's a morning. It's a chill morning. I have nothing like crazy I need to do, which I'm really excited about. I just woke up. It's 10 a.m. Like, I haven't slept until 10 a.m. in a minute which is crazy because I like can, but my body just does it. So I'm like really happy. But yeah, I'm so excited to take you guys along on this day. This video is sponsored by Good Habits, so thank you guys. And yeah, I literally just woke up. I put my camera on my bedside last night because, well, I knew I was doing this so I could grab it. I did have to open up my blinds a little bit because it's so dark in here, but now we're gonna open them full on. You guys know how it goes. Ugh. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> Cozy vibes. It's been like raining all week. Um, but yeah, I feel very well rested, which is new. Um, I like, I don't know. I just feel like I slept really wholesomely, if that makes sense. It's literally 10 o'clock on the dot. Like, I can't make this up. So really happy about that. I'm going to make my bed. Um, today's plan... You know, I don't exactly know, and that's okay. Um, I'm recording an episode of Gals on the Go podcast with Brooke. It's the podcast that we have together that I freaking love. And then we have a call with our podcast network a little bit after that. Um, we have a conference call tonight for... Um, the spin studio I work for, Pirvello Athens, um, and it's kind of just like talking about what the next few months are going to look like, and yeah, I want to clean my apartment, you know, just random stuff, it's just, it's just a day, so yeah, welcome to a morning in my life, it might turn into a day in my life knowing myself, but yeah. All right guys, it's skincare time. Before I start the rest of my day, I really like to do a skincare routine of some sort just because it really honestly just wakes me up and makes me feel better. You guys, I just discovered Good Habits Skincare and it is the coolest innovation I've ever heard of. I've never heard of it before. Basically, their products are blue light blocking. Yeah, like it's so cool. So I have some of the products here. I've been trying them out and I wanted to show you guys. I just think it's so cool because with all of that like increased skin like time on your screens like I'm always on my screen I've been wearing my blue light glasses every day so when I heard about literal products that block your skin from blue light like that's hype so I think it's really cool it's basically preventing anti-aging and wrinkles and just I don't know all the things it's just kind of caught preventing future signs of anti of aging so that's pretty exciting um so i'm gonna start out with using this um rescue me clean scene micellar gel it's like you know basically just a way to kind of take off any gunk that was on your face from the night before <laughs> gunk what a word um and i love how it's gel so i'm just putting it on this cotton pad here and like look how aesthetically pleasing this bottle is this is what it looks like um and basically you don't need water you're just applying it to your face and it's taking off any excess makeup, any excess dirt, whatever, and also locking in moisture at the same time. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which is why I'm a big fan of it. And it just literally feels so good. Ugh, I won't even show you guys what's on my skin right now. It just feels so freaking good. Um, wow, this is incredible. <sighs> wow, that feels so good. I've never had my cellar gel before, you know, it's more of like, like a liquid so this just feels so good and refreshing okay so yeah that took off some stuff next i'm going to use the rescue me texture magic exfoliating toner with blue light protection of course and yeah basically you're just shaking it up and i've got another cotton pad here and i'm just dabbing it on there and it's literally blue too which i think is funny because like blue light blocking and i'm literally going to be on my computer all day today annoying myself so this is just a great way to start the day and it's exfoliating. So I feel like my skin's gonna be nice and smooth and I'm just so refreshed right now. So I just think these products are so cool. You guys know I only talk about things that I believe in or I think are really awesome. And this is one of them. I really suggest you guys try them out. I'll have a link down below for you guys to 
check them out and check out the skincare for yourself. I think it's literally the coolest thing. Next up, you guys know I'm a big serum girl. Oh, I was gonna like put my hair up. That would have been smart to do. We'll do it now. Um, pop some hoops in for like a spat, as, as a jazz. Um, this is the Rescue Me Glow, Por Glow Potion Oil Serum. Um, I love it. So cute. Um, and yeah, basically you just do one of those. So I think that's really cool. I love this bottle. Again, it's blue. Just putting this on. Mm, feels so good. Love a good serum. Oh, I love it. Glow, 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 baby. And protecting from blue lights. This mixed with my blue light glasses, like let's freaking get it. And lastly, um, it's like a little four set, four piece little situation here. I love it. This is the Rescue Me Water Jelly Dew Cream. Big fan. And um, yeah, it's literally like jelly. Can you guys see it shaking? <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> I've already used this a bit because it's just so fun. Um, but yeah, this is just locking everything in. I love putting on a cream after putting on a serum because I feel like it locks in the serum and it just kind of sets everything in my opinion and this is very moisturizing you can just feel it again with the hyaluronic acid I just love this stuff Ugh, so good perfect we're done all right skincare is done for the day all thanks to the good habits skincare again I'll have a link down below for you guys I just think it's the coolest thing, especially if you guys are on your computers a lot or your phone. Increased screen time is a thing right now, and why not do some skincare accordingly? So, yeah, okay, let's go make some coffee. I am in need. All right, welcome to my kitchen. I feel like it's not zoomed out. There we go. Um, just put my hair in a little ponytail. I'm gonna light the candle to start off the morning. I love my mornings in my apartment. Like, it's just the best. Like, I just love waking up and just being alone for, like, as long as possible. I'm not, like, an introvert. I kind of I am. I don't really know. But I just freaking love my mornings. It's just so nice, like, not having to, like, rush to class or anything. This is a rose and cedar candle. Um, I absolutely love it. And, guys, pro tip. I got these flowers from Trader Joe's probably, like, a week and a half ago now. Maybe even longer. And they have lasted so long. These are called, there's a more intense word for them, but I call them baby's breath. And they last for a while. So if you're wanting like some flowers that are pretty, like they're so aesthetically pleasing too. I'm going to start getting them more because I just really like the aesthetic that they give off. Um, it's coffee time. You already know what's up. Do any of you guys that have a Keurig relate to this? Like when you're like so tired in the morning. And you go to your Keur your Keurig and it's like, you need more water. And you're like, no, that means you have to go. It's the little things, but I hate it. Cause I'm just like, oh, I have to fill it up now. You just want that cup of coffee. But maybe it's just me. This is why it's unfiltered. It's not always a perfect morning montage. That's for sure. frame. I think I am. Uh, coffee, 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 coffee. I have to do my dishes. I'm gonna go for my but first coffee actually pro tip. Another giving you so many pro tips this morning. I've said this one before but putting your like creamer or half and half. Why does this look dirty? Ew. Um, oh yeah, I don't like that. It's washed. Putting your creamer or like half and half or whatever you put in your coffee before you pour it in um, or like put it in the Keurig, whatever, it like automatically mixes it in when you um, like put your coffee in. So like you don't have to like have a spin. It like cuts out the middle man. It's incredible. So it's like the little things, but I always feel so wasteful just grabbing a spoon to stir my cream. Like it's not a big deal. So, I'm like almost out of 
I make the Pike Place, the Starbucks Pike Place K cups. I also really like the donut shop one. Oh good, I have a box to the left of my Pike Place, but yeah, let's go see how she's doing. My hand sanitizer that I use when I walk in from being outside every day. This has lasted so long too. Um, it's great, but ooh, baby. So I had in my calendar this morning to go get toilet paper at CVS because it, I always feel like if they do have toilet paper, it's in the morning because I literally don't have any like straight up using paper towels, so that's fun. Don't worry, I'm not putting it down the toilet, put it in the trash. But um, I just called because I didn't want to like go if I don't have any and they don't have any. There's bigger problems in this world, but like, whoa, this toilet paper thing's a thing. Putting on my blue light glasses, I'm grabbing my coffee, and we are headed to my recent office. I don't know why I've been working here more, but I've been really enjoying it. Um, so this is what we're working with here. I've got my computer, my doing well daily um, journal. I love it, you know, you trace calligraphy and then you say something you're grateful for, words to live by, how you're gonna get moving, how many cups of water you're drinking, to-do list, breakfast, lunch, dinner, I love it. So I'm gonna fill out one for today. And then I also made a vision board and I put it up there so that instead of watching TV, I look at that now, I'll probably move it later, but um, I think it's just like a great thing to look at it makes me really happy. It's more of a vision slash mood board because, you know, you can only find certain things in magazines because I cut everything out of magazines. So, I mean, like, obviously my vision for 2020 is not to have a Chanel bag. I just thought it was, like, really cute and, like, my vibe. So, yeah, I'm going to drink my coffee, do my Doing Well daily journal, and I'll chat with you guys soon. Also, guys, I'm so excited. I was on my really good friend Tori D. Simone's podcast she has two manifest by Tori De Simone and then she also has the stride effect which is for like her spin studio called stride um and she just uploaded the podcast episode I'm so excited to listen to it so she like posted it on Instagram like that's me and her stride effect Instagram or her stride effect podcast is all about spin and like spin instructors spin studios like I thought it was really interesting so I came on to talk about Pruvello and it was like a really really good time so yeah, I'm gonna like promote this on my story. Also, a new episode of Gals on the Go went up tonight or t today. I cannot speak right now. My words are just not there. And um, it's a solo episode that Brooke did. So I'm gonna post a story for that as well. But yeah, go listen to both of those. They're good. Okay, I am hungry. It is time for breakfast. It's 11 a.m. Um, I have toast and I have eggs. Really not in the mood to make eggs. I'm just kind of in the mood to put toast in the toaster. <laughs> I hate myself. Um, so we're gonna do that. I'm a big toast gal. Big, big, big toast gal. So I'm like, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna put the toast in the toaster or the bread in the toaster. Ha ha. You know that trick where it's like, what do you do this? What do you do that? It's like, what do you put in the toaster? And everyone says toast, but it's really bread. That's how I feel right now. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll make legs, lit eggs later. But for now, we just do on the bread. All right, talk to you guys soon. Okay, hey guys. Oh, I should probably turn the light on. Even though the light doesn't do much in my apartment, I decided I am gonna make the eggs. I'm really into making um, sunny side up eggs, actually. Mainly because they're the easiest. You don't have to like flip them like fried eggs. You literally just crack the eggs on the pan and they cook and then like you kind of like take a fork and like kind of stab the yolk so it cooks a little bit more so it's like healthy to eat. And then you pop it on the toast and it's just a vibe. And then you don't have to butter the toast because the eggs are on the toast and I tend to use a lot of butter. So I feel like it's just good all around. So I'm gonna make some sunny side up eggs. I decided so if you guys were ever so wondering <laughs> all right you guys it's time to put the eggs on the toast and it is yolky obviously so you gotta make sure you're you got a good handle on it which I simply don't clearly oh my god oh my god <laughs> all right fingers are happening here ah! Um, and then this guy is a 
a little bit easier. Whee! Yay! I feel like a chef every time I do that. And then we're gonna add some salt and pepper. I wish I had like arugula and bacon. That would just be so good. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good right now. Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my little tutorial on how to make sunny side of eggs, but yum, yum, yum. I'm gonna eat this now, obviously. <laughs> doing my morning read of the skim. It's like, basically you get emailed it every morning. It's just kind of like a rundown of the news because it's I like to be a little bit in the know. So yeah, good morning. <laughs> Update, just finished my eggs, now I'm eating an apple, woo. Hello, darling. Hey. How are you? Good. So, um, I just got off the phone with Brooke, and like I said earlier, I think we're recording a podcast for Gals on the Go today, and in the beginning of all the podcasts, we always do a highlight of our past week. We usually do highlights and lowlights, but ever since kind of everything has happened, we've decided not to do lowlights just for a little bit because we want to stay as positive as we can. Um, there's not like a ton to like complain about, like I'm just thankful to be happy and healthy. And I have a roof over my head. Um, I feel like my hair looks weird in a ponytail right now. Um, but... Yeah, we do a highlight, a current favorite, something that we're loving right now, and then we do a quote. So I'm currently trying to find the quote that I'm going to use. I usually go to Pinterest because I'm always pinning new quotes that make me happy, just words of wisdom. So I thought I'd share this with you guys while I'm doing it. And I also haven't finished um, doing my Doing Well daily journal, so I'm going to do the Words to Live by one, which is like a quote that you're loving. So I'm kind of picking out two quotes right now. Um, I won't tell you guys the one that I'm picked for the podcast because you have to go listen. Um, we post new episodes every Wednesday. But for my words to live by for today, what is my mood today? I'm kind of in this mood today where I'm just like, you know, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. And I think, I don't know, I think sometimes people forget that, like, I'm human and I'm trying and we're all trying. And I'm just, like, really hard on myself lately. Um, so... <sighs> I don't know. I'm, like, trying to find a quote about that. Oh. Uh, but. Oh, God, I just got sleepy again. It's almost time for my second coffee of the day. And it's not even normally time to have that yet. Usually I have my second coffee of the day around, like, 4 p.m. Um, and we're not, we're not there yet. Uh, um, I love this. If outside validation is your only source of nourishment, you will hung you will hunger for the rest of your life. I love that. That's a lot of words to write down, though. Um, create the life that you can't wait to wake up to. Love that. When you focus on the good, the good gets better. That's one of my favorites. Um, so, yeah, I'm just kind of going through these right now. I haven't found one yet that I want to do for today. I need to look up like perfection quotes about not being perfect though. Let's see. You can't, oh I love this. You can't go back and change the beginning but you can start where you are and change the ending. C.S. Lewis. I love that. Like start where you are now. You can't go back. Anything that's happened in the past, this kind of goes back to overthinking as well. Like anything that's happened already, you simply can't change. You can't change people's minds. You can't, you can't anything. You just have to start now, accept what is, and go on from there. And I love that. I think I'm going to write something like that down. But yeah, that is what I'm up to right now. <laughs> all right, guys. All of the computer work is done. It's finally time to get started with my day. Well, I have gotten started with my day, but you know what I mean. Jella Bean, we're going to do the makeups. Um, I'm recording with Brooke, and I mean, like, I don't really necessarily care if she sees me with makeup or not, but... I also have, you know, those conference calls today as well where you do show video. So I figured, like, might as well pop on some makeup. So I'll do that with you guys. I think it's already time for my um, second cup of coffee for the day. Um, so let's do it. <laughs> Actually, first, I think I'm going to take a body shower and then do my makeup and drink coffee. So update. I'm also drinking water right now. But you guys can't come to the shower, so... <laughs> Okay, just got out of the shower. Um, that felt really, really good. Also, great news. My thumb, there's new skin finally growing, and I kind of want to, like, not wear a Band-Aid. It feels so, like, good from, like, when I cut it. 
Like it feels so weird to like actually have a thumb again. I've been texting with my thumb and my pointer finger. Um, so it's been like really funny. Let's see if I can put you guys down here. My viewfinder isn't working right now. So hopefully you guys can see me. But I'm just going to use a little bit more serum and moisturizer before I do my makeup. Since I did just hop in the shower. Um, so I'm going to use this Good Habit um, Glow Point. Glow Why can't I say the word pour po Potion. I'm going to use the potion. Um, the Glow Potion. Oh wait. I don't want to do this, y'all. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to put a little in my finger. Oh, this stuff feels so good. And I'm literally going to be in front of my computer all day, so this is great. I'm just going to put on a little bit more serum and moisturizer before I put on my makeup because I do not like putting makeup on dry skin. I'm just going to use a little bit more of this Jelly Dew Cream. I love this stuff. It's the coolest thing. Um, but yeah, all right, that's good. I'm glad my towel hasn't fallen down yet. That would be <laughs> comical. Um, I'm just gonna pop on some sort of outfit and let's go make a coffee and then do my makeup. Woo! All right, here's today's OOTD. <laughs> um, I'm just wearing this top from Urban Outfitters. It's like a ribbed halter. And then I'm wearing these sweatpants that I believe are from Aritzia. Um, and I just texted my dad and he said we are good to go. I do not have to wear a band-aid, but it still feels like sensitive, you know, like gentle. Anyways, I don't know if you guys care. Okay, coffee time. I know you guys have seen me literally do this so many times. You guys are probably like, okay, we've seen the coffee montage. We get it. But for those of you that might care, we will do it now. Um, I only have a few Nespresso pods left. It's crazy. I've gone through so many here. Um, but yeah, I love this. This is like one of the older Nespresso's. I've had this for like four years now, maybe. Um, but I'm a big fan. So yeah, I just make the espresso. I add ice and soy milk and we're good to go. All right, guys, this is my favorite part. I film it literally every time, but there's just something so special about adding milk to your latte and just, wow, I just... I'm already really looking forward to this. Let's see, do I want to do bamboo, plastic, or metal straw today? Mm, honestly, I'm feeling metal. Like a little little sassy metal vibe, maybe? Eh, I don't know. I'm literally choosing my straw right now. Am I okay? I'm gonna do a straw, or um, bamboo. All right, here we go. Adding the soy milk. It's like a ceremony, the adding of the soy milk. Oh, look at it just like, wow, that is just so pretty and then boom I like don't even really like to go get coffee anymore like I really enjoy making my own every now and then I like to go to the drive-thru but honestly this just hits different okay let's do our makeup I'm totally running behind I told Brooke that I would be ready in five minutes and let's be real I'm not gonna be ready in five minutes so let's go do makeup super super quick and then yeah okay here we go it stresses me out that I can't edit this. Oh, now music's playing. Ah, copyright, copyright. Okay, okay. I'm gonna set up my toilet and do my makeup and it's gonna be all good and fun. Okay, here we are. <laughs> I guess this is just all one clip now. Um, okay, let me take a sip of my coffee. Ah, uh, okay. Skincare is done, so we don't need to worry about that part. I'm just gonna do some sort of quick little something something here. Dr. Brandt pours no more primer. Y'all already know what's up. Block those pores. No, I'm kidding, not block pores, but yeah. Um, do one of these. This is the most sporadic vlog, but it's unedited, we love it. Um, tried and true it cosmetic CC cream Sephora collection foundation brush again I just wish I had better lighting in this dang bathroom it would just make this portion of my vlog so much better I had to like bring a ring light in earlier because there was literally no light and there still really isn't but I'm kind of in a rush right now sorry um, but yeah so I love this CC cream, the lighting in here is weird. It doesn't look yellow when I'm out in my bedroom. I'll show you guys. Um, it's funny, Brooke and I usually, or when I record recently, I've just been doing all of my work out in my living room because I just love being out there. But I'm gonna like try and like record in my bedroom today because I like haven't spent any time in my room and I just cleaned it all. Like, it's kind of random of me. Um, I'm back to my Maybelline. Uh, 
under eye concealer. Here we are. Blend, blend, blend. But yeah, you guys kind of know the gist of my makeup routine. It doesn't really change ever, I feel like. I'm like trying to be better about where I put my like setting powder. Cause I feel like sometimes it looks cakey, but I need it to like set certain parts of my face. But I like the glowy look right now, especially for summertime. Um, it feels so weird having my thumb be exposed. I like I'm about to put on a band-aid cause it just like feels so weird. Bronzer. But yeah, I'm in like a really good mood today. I just really enjoy these mornings that I have to myself. Like, they're the best. Like, eh. a little blushy blush. I'm like getting so beautied up, beautied up for Brooke. Brooke, you better be honored. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, using this Sephora Collection Brow Mascara because it's like the best. It's like a one step. Um, like brow situation. Brooke's probably texting me ready whenever. Yep, that's what she just said. Ready whenever. It's 2.13. I have two minutes. I got this. I do my makeup pretty fast. I really do have to give myself credit. Like four minutes. Come on. Like when I brought Ryan with me to a brand trip in Austin, Texas um, in September. That was our first time like traveling together and he was like, wow, you get ready like so much faster than I ever thought. Like I think he thought he was about to like go on this trip with me and I was going to take hours to get ready. But I really, I, I kind of, the hair is what takes the longest if that, but like I still get my hair done like pretty fast. Like, I'm pretty good at it. And it was the best. He was like, you're a lot more low maintenance than I thought you'd be because I get it. If you like have just met me, not that he had just met me, but like. You know, if you like see me from the outside, you probably are like, oh, she's like a like a diva, like not even a diva, just like she probably does takes time to like get ready in the morning. And like I, I I'm not quick, quick, but I do get the job done. So I was like really proud of myself when he said that. Um, not that you ever need validation from others, but that was pretty hype. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands, put on some lip balm, and set up, and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, makeup is done. It's just like a nice, fresh look. I'm like, did I put on lip balm? Yes, I did. My hair is just the same from yesterday. I like let it be natural and then I used my Dyson Airwrap on like my ends and it's just kind of a random look. But ooh, I'm gonna FaceTime Brooke, pull out my microphone and all of my podcast equipment. We're gonna get started. I hope you guys enjoyed this unfiltered, unedited morning routine. I know it's all over the place, but hey, that's why we that's why we love it. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your continued support. I'll have a link down below to check out Good Habits Skincare. I feel really hyped that I'm like on my computer right now and it's like I have skincare on to help it. Anyways, love you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.